Let's get to some of your questions. Amy Trask, I'm not familiar with that person. Who was the first NFL executive to openly, avowedly, happily note that she, the she part is a hint, by the way, read PFT regularly and to share that everyone else did too, only they refused to admit they did so? Yes, it was It was Amy Trask, and it was a long, long time ago. And basically she said 90% of the league is reading PFT and the other 10% is liars. So, uh, and, But she was the only one for a while back in the renegade days of PFT that would actually admit to it. So she's been a loyal friend of the site for a very long time, Shereen. And we love Amy Truss, Mike. If you don't follow her on Twitter, she's a good follow. Yeah, and uh, did a great job with the Raiders for a very long time. It does a great job with CBS. Now, I, I remember when she first left the Raiders, I thought, well, she'll do TV for a year or two and end up working for another team. I think the, the game is better off having the benefit of her opinions publicly than if she was exclusively working for one team. At Burn Unit, with the 17th game coming, will seasonal stats be looked at or recorded differently? It would be harder to compare future seasons with past seasons. Hey, I, I can only relate to our own experience Shireen when they went from 14 to 16 games in 78 nobody ever said boo there was never an asterisk when Eric Dickerson set the single season rushing record nobody said yeah yeah but you know before it was 14 this 16 uh, you know we we need to do per game that was never an issue it was never a thing it was never discussed no one ever cared about it we just we just add a regular season game and eventually the records are going to be broken yeah, they will be broken, Mike. And you look at, uh, for instance, a 1,000 yards receiving or a 1,000 yards rushing, that's not going to mean as much as it does now, right? Uh, 5,000 5, yards for a quarterback is going to become more common. So I think you're going to take all those things into account when you start talking about Hall of Fames and that sort of thing. But, yeah, the records don't change, and it's really weird. But you will see every once in a while – that was the record for a 14-game season. We're going to have a bunch of those, especially early. That was a record for a 16-game season. You know, he broke the record in the 17th game or however you phrase it. But we will keep those in mind at least for the next few years. And here's the thing to keep in mind, too. There's never been a 2,000-yard receiving season. 117 right. yards per game is what you need to get to 2,000 yards in a 17-game season. And maybe as soon as next year with 17 games for the first time, somebody can get to 2,000. A-Red Zone Alk is another franchise tag, the best option for Dak Prescott. Well, look, if if the Cowboys don't give him a long-term deal that he's happy with, yeah, it's the best option for him at $37.68 million. But I think the Cowboys need to get him signed to a long-term deal and get that cap number down so they can do business this year. Great for him to have the leverage that comes from $37.68 million horrible for the Cowboys to have 37.68 million on the books. They got to get him signed to a long-term deal before ideally Shereen before the window closes on applying the franchise tag. Cause if you apply the tag again, if you even apply it, you can never tag him again yep. during his career because then he gets a 44% raise the next time you would tag him. Yeah, absolutely, Mike. And they're going to try to get this done over the next two weeks. They're going to start talking. They've had some preliminary discussions Mike, they've talked for almost two years. They know what the other side wants. This should not be hard. The Cowboys are going to have to give in if they want to sign Dak Prescott. And frankly, that's what they have to do. And they have to do it before March 9th. They have to get this deal done so they don't have to apply the tag to Dak Prescott again. That will kill their cap. They've just got to get this done. And they've got to get it done relatively quickly. There was an item in ESPN.com today about labor negotiations over the years, and there was a strange quote from Jerry Jones. Is there another kind? Where he talked about owls and chickens and certain phases of the moon and whatever the owls and the chickens were doing (laughs) when Jerry Jones coined that phrase. They may may need to be doing that again to get Jones to finally admit his mistake because that's the problem. As they've delayed, yep. it's gotten more and more expensive. At some point, they just have to cry uncle. I don't think Jerry Jones has ever cried uncle, Shireen. Nope, he's never been able to do that. Never had the feet held to the fire, Mike. Everybody's given in to Jerry Jones, including Des Bryant, at the 11th hour. So they've got to get this done. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.